Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for January 16th, 2018. We will see what comes up. January 16th, what do we have? What do we have for today? We have the Five of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Cups. There's good luck on the way. There's good fortune. Whatever's happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. Uh, it feels like you may be, be competing for something. You know, you could have some tension in your life, but it's bringing you closer. So don't give up. Whatever you're fighting for, keep going because it's leading you down a new road, okay? It's bringing you the prosperity, the abundance, and the fortune or whatever you want to call it that you, that you uh, desire, okay? Good luck is on the way. All right, with this uh, Wheel of Fortune right here, it tells me that you are about to have a change of course or some good luck. It could just be good luck. This Ten of Cups tells me that there's there's some problems, though. There is. I mean, I can't just make it all pretty if it's not. This Ten of Cups is reversed. So there could be some relationship problems. There could be some children moving away. Um, you could have some dreams that are dying, okay? You know, and, you know, believe it, that everything that happens, happens for a reason. There is a change of course here. It's like there's been some petty arguments, some fights, perhaps, you know, pettiness, um, some kind of competition in your life that is really leading you down a new road. And it really is a blessing in disguise because with, with this Wheel of Fortune, it's destiny. There's a new chapter ahead of you. And, you know, sometimes to start a new chapter, you know, a dream dies. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, okay? Um, and it's not really that, like, the dream dies. It's the thought dies. And it could be a dream. You know, maybe you dreamed of something with somebody and it's not working out. It's like a thought or an idea or an, of a relationship, something. You know, it could be just simply your children moving away, okay? Something within your family is ending, okay? But it's bringing you closer to your destiny and your life's purpose. And I know that's hard to fathom, but that's what I see, okay? It's like somebody may be giving up on the fight. Oh, boy. Trapped in fear. Trapped in fear. And that's exactly... I mean, somebody is. Somebody is trapped. They they are... You know, somebody wants freedom. Somebody is looking for freedom that is watching this. And they're scared. Somebody... Or they're scared to step outside of their comfort zone. So I don't know who it is. But somebody is scared to step outside of their comfort zone. They're trapped in a spot that they don't want to be in. And they're being called to find their strength okay you need to find your strength whoever is watching this the strength to step into unknown territory which is your fear okay sobriety Interesting. We've had this card recently. There's a change of course. There is. There's a change of course. I think somebody is going to acknowledge their fear and take action because a dream has died, uh, a feeling, something in a relationship for some of you. And this could be family oriented. It doesn't have to be a loving partnership. But something regarding your family could be even to deal with children. It feels like somebody is wanting a big change in their family environment. And the only way to do it is to, to act on their fears. Okay, They're going to have to take action and face their fears. 
okay? It may bring about some tension. It may cause a fight. But in the end, it will bring you uh, what you desire. And you have to trust me on this with that Wheel of Fortune. You know, it. there is some kind of trouble, okay? There's some kind of trouble brewing. And I just have to tell you that. And somebody is going to have to acknowledge it and take action okay you could be dealing with somebody who has addictions and you have to face the truth okay so somebody has to stand up and make a move all right they have to make take strat make a strategy and that makes a lot of sense it really does Okay. So, you know, what's going on here? What's going on here? Somebody is so scared to make a move. You're trapped. You are trapped. You're trapped in your fear of the unknown, not knowing what will happen if you make this change not knowing what the future holds staying stuck in a spot that no longer serves you that's what's going on here somebody that is watching this is stuck in a spot that they do not want to be going that they not, don't want to be in they're holding themselves hostage because they don't want the conflict they don't want the tension they don't want the trouble they don't know what will happen if they make a change. You are holding yourself hostage in a situation that is unhealthy. That's what's going on here. Somebody is holding themselves hostage, okay? And this card is telling me that you have to face your fears. You have to face your fears. It's I would consider this like the Eight of Swords, okay? You are imprisoned in your own head. And the only thing you can do is free yourself. And if you think you can't free yourself, then you're stuck there. Okay? This card is telling me that you have the opportunity to free yourself. And you know where that opportunity comes from? coming up with a strategy you have the ability to come up with a strategy to come up with a plan and this card is telling you to take the time to do that don't you think it's time to acknowledge your fears and stop holding yourself hostage in this place of conflict consider the changes that are needed and come up with a plan to take action that's what this card says this is a day of action spend some time to come up with a plan today if you're looking for a change of course if you're looking for positive change if you're looking to become who you are meant to be then you're going to have to change your path and you change your path by acknowledging your fears I feel like many somebody who's watching this is covering up their dissatisfaction they're coming covering up their fears they're covering up their their inner hell with addictions instead of letting yourself or making yourself or taking the initiative to free yourself from this mental prison that you're in I can see that there are there's there are some trouble there's some trouble there's some trouble there's relationship trouble 
okay? Whether it's at work or in your love life or with your children, there's relationship trouble, there's relationship problems. And I feel like the dreams of forever in whatever situation this was is dying or has died. And now you're just stuck in a place that you don't want to be. And you're just living in this despair rather than coming up with a strategy that will change your life and bring you the good luck and the good fortune that you so deserve that is in your future. Should you decide to acknowledge your fear, accept it, and take action, you will have, you will have learned a big lesson. And you will be able to start that change of course that you so desire. But it's totally in your hands. It's totally, totally in your hands. You must face the fears so that newness can come into your life. Do you understand? You have to face your fears so that newness can come into your life. And all it takes is coming up with a plan. Taking the time you need to come up with a plan and take baby steps to get there. This right here is a journal, okay? It's a journal. It's a log. With a pen, that's a pen, okay? Write down your plan and start taking the steps to remove yourself from this prison that you are in. Because you really can't mask it. I mean, you can, but it's not going to bring you good luck. It's not going to bring you good fortune. It's not going to bring you to where you need to be. This card is sobriety. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, Thank you for adjusting my cravings in helpful directions so that I can so that I only desire life affirming foods and beverages. This could also have to do with smoking, okay? For many of you a change of course is needed. But in order for you to go down that new road, you are going to have to face your fears. So I feel like today is a day of uh, doing that, deciding, do I want to stay where I'm at or not? Do I have the courage to make a move? It's about finding your courage today. To take the steps that you need to free yourself from some mental prison that you're in. And if it's not a mental prison, it could literally be that you are in a situation in some kind of relationship, whether it's at home, at work, with your children, I don't know. You figure it out. It's about coming to terms with something that is not working out and coming up with a plan to move on so that newness can come into your life. Now, I'm sure that's not the most beautiful message that you want for the day. I'm sure you can find another reader that can give you a nice positive uh, reading. <laughs> I feel like this is a positive reading. This is a reading to move you in the right direction. To, to get you untrapped. To, I'm trying to get you to acknowledge your fears and stop holding yourself hostage 
and make a plan to free yourself so that newness can come into your life. It's a day of making a decision or a choice. Are you going to stay here or not? Do you want to live in this mental prison or are you ready to be free? If you're ready to be free, it's time to strategize and make your plan and start taking the steps. Get out your paper and make your plan. Today's the day. Namaste.